Fast cutting is good, actually. While it is good to hold on a shot to build tension and focus on stuff long enough for your audience to be able to take it in and have a good look at it, shots less than a second long have an energy. Here is a close-up of my eye looking around. Note how it pops quickly between one position and another rather than slowly tweening. Also, if somebody turns their head around fast, they tend to blink. It's as though the split second when you can see nothing but a motion blur isn't even worth looking at. So, fast cut scenes simulate how humans see fast scenes better than shaky cams. Also, it's cheap. For the live action filmmaker, you can hide the fact that all you're really looking at is me walking down a street. For the 2D animator, you can hide the fact that most of the shots are little more than still images. Some of which were drawn by my four-year-old son, Odin. And for the 3D animator... Whoa, that's a lot of blend files for a few seconds of animation. Very soon, I'll be revealing three ways of doing this without reverting to having a million blend files. Thank <laughs> you.